good evening my dear students today i am going to explain you about the water harvesting what do you mean by the water harvesting and why we need to do the water harvesting techniques and what are the principles of water harvesting and conservations water harvesting has been practiced successfully for million parts of the world and some recent inventions have also had significant local impact yet water harvesting's potentials really remains largely unknown unknowledge and unappreciated it is time to scale up the good practice of water harvesting that have survived or emerged from new experiences after decades of almost exclusive focus on mastering fresh water flows in rivers and lakes through investments in irrigation infrastructure water is essential for all life of the forms on earth including humans animals and vegetations currently about 1.5 billion hectares of croplands worldwide more than 80% depends on rainfall alone contributing to a least two third global food productions let us know what is water harvesting watering harvesting means the capturing the rain water where it falls and capture the runoff from catchment and streams etc it is the activity of direct collection of the rain water generally water harvesting is direct rain water collection this collected water could be stored for later use and recharged into the ground water again and it is the activity of direct collection of the rain water water harvesting is very important concepts in the regions where there is no surface water way or where the ground water is deep or inaccessible due to hard rock conditions or hard ground conditions or where it is too salty or acidic or otherwise unpleasant or unfit to drink in the areas that have regular rainfall the most appropriate alternative is the collection of the rain water called rain water harvesting when you go to the history water has been harvested in india since antiquity with our ancestors perfecting the art of the water management around the thir- the 3rd century before christ the farming communities in baluchistan now located in pakistan afghanistan and iran and kerch india used rain water harvesting for the irrigations in a ancient tamil nadu rain water harvesting was done by the chola kings itself rain water from the bihradishwara temples located in tanjavur was collected in a savanaganga tank there are evidence that even during harappan period there were a good system of the water management as could be seen in the latest excavation of dalavira in kutch many water harvesting structures and water conveyance systems specific to the eco regions and culture has been developed why water harvesting is important to conserve and augment the storage of the ground water for the future users and for the our users to reduce the water table depletions because the water table is more depleting due to the over exploration of the ground water and less recharge of the surface waters to the ground and to improve the quality of the ground water due to the presence of the minerals and many other substances the ground water is bit diluted by uh, bit polluted by recharging the fresh water to the ground it dilute the concentrations and it improves the quality of the ground water and to arrest sea water intrusion in the coastal areas which means as we all know that the density of the sea water is more than the fresh waters when the ground water is 
very poor in the coastal regions directly the sea water into the sea waters will be intruded into the land if the water is more if the fresh water is more present in coastal areas it avoids or it arrests to the intrusion of the sea water into the mainland and to avoid the flood and water stagnation in the urban areas need to do some water harvesting techniques and the harvested waters can be used for the agricultural activity in land areas let's will discuss about some of the principles of the water harvesting for and conservation studying of rainfall and suitable locations the many of the peoples will do the water harvesting techniques but they will not yield the sufficient results due to the improper selection of the suitable locations the, by constructing the small structures which can be constructed by locally available materials and start constructing from high point to and gradually come down stream should be made of water rather than the runoff and erode of the lot of the soils create a storage so that the harvested water be allowed for percolation to take place always plan for an overflow route and manage the overflow as a resources some of the other important key principles on the effective managements are use rainwater effectively which means in many climates rainfall is distributed unevenly in intense downpours that cannot be readily used by a crop storage techniques increase the availability availability of the waters in the drier seasons which means the storage techniques such as the external catchment or the roof water collections make effective use of the soil water resources which means the soil stores water from rainfall providing a reserve that is available to the crop how much water is available depends on the soil type and the rooting system of the crops uh, for example sandy soil holds much less water than clay or silt soils so make effective use of the soil water resources and take measures to avoid runoff runoff is where water is not absorbed by the soil but runs across the surface away from where the crop can use it structures such as contour schemes terracing pits burns can reduce the runoff runoff is more likely to occur or silty or clay soils where the surface has been subjected to intense rainfall than baked in the sun to form a crust of cap reduce water losses through the drainage when water drains out of the soil not only is it wasted but essential mobile nutrients such as nitrogen are also washed out this is more of a problem on light sandy soils adding organic matters in the form of compost manures or plant residues will eventually increase the amount of water a soil can retain but this will only have an effect if it is added over a longer period of the years avoid wasting of the water through much evaporations much evaporation we can use that water properly for the irrigations or for the domestic purposes some of the techniques of the water harvesting are contour farmings it is sustainable way of farming where farmers plant crops across or perpendicular to the slope this arrangements of plants break up the flow of the waters and makes it harder for soil erosion to occur which conserves the both 
the soil as well as the water for the proper use for the agricultural activity harvesting techniques are classified based along the contours including the contour flowing contour ridges bench terraces grass strips stone lines retention ditches these are many other factors also present it's uh, will uh, brief out you about only these concepts the techniques used depends on the steepness of the slope soil types conditions crops grown and other factors such as the availability of the labors in the next class we will discuss about all these water harvesting techniques thank you